Hi there, my name is Joanne and today I'll be reviewing Adina's Jewels. So Adina's Jewels is a family business determined to offer a unique line of trend-setting jewelry at a reasonable cost to fashionistas all around the world. So I actually went to their store in Soho, New York um, because my friend wanted to go and buy jewelry from them. We were only there for a short period because she already knew what she wanted to buy and I didn't want to make an impulse purchase. So I waited till I got home, decided a little bit, and then, you know, I ended up buying it. I'll include a closer up um, image for you to see. On their website, they do have a page that also shares tips on what to do and jewelry care, which is quite nice. I've heard that these guys can possibly break like the chain right here because it's so small. So I actually bought the solid gold hoop one because I felt like, you know, if this does break, I can just use them as two normal gold hoops since I don't have solid ones. Right off the bat, I have to say, I was quite surprised at their shipping time because I got their standard shipping, which is five to eight days. So it literally shipped out the following day from the Brooklyn um, warehouse. And then four days later, I got an email saying that it was delivered. And so it was a total of six days, um, which is within the five to eight days, but it seemed very fast to me um, especially since it was the holiday season i also want to mention that popular items like these ones um, and similar styles too they were all out of stock so these orders as well as their personalized jewelry does take longer and according to their website it's 14 to 20 days they also say on their website like on the top that they have free shipping returns however when i go to their shipment cost page it says that there are only like three shipping methods and that they are all paid. So I don't know how much you need to spend in order to get up to that threshold of free shipping, but uh, you can probably play around with that and see. They do offer international shipping though, and it's $6.95. That is their cheapest shipping option, so it does take a while, but if you're more in a rush, you can pay more for that. So one more thing I wanna talk about is actually their customer service. I'm gonna say that I actually had a little bit of frustrating situation with them. They have a phone number and an email that you can contact, and I've tried both. Their phone number, I've even contacted their store, but for both, I was sent to a voicemail box and never got a call back. And with email, they did like respond with an automated message and it said that they respond to me within three to five days. But it has been over a month now and nobody has responded to me. So yeah, I don't know about that. And I mean, I understand it's like the holiday season. I emailed them early in December, but it's been a while. And so I'm not going to be contacting them again because I don't need to, but I just want to mention that. Overall, I think Adina's Jewels is not bad. Their jewelry quality is pretty good. And I recommend checking out their whole website because they really do have a lot of different styles that I've never seen before. And I think they're quite cool. However, again, their customer service is not the best. So do keep that in mind. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Be sure to subscribe to SideDriver and check out my socials. I'll put them in the description box down below. Bye-bye. See you next time.